Hello! I would like to welcome you to the Laramie K Optician Works Training Center, where today we are going to talk about low vision. Let's talk about low vision just a little bit, and I'll say a little bit and I'll explain why in just one second. Do know if you are a newbie optician, you've worked for a year, you've earned your stripes, you know you've got it down, and you're looking at a job at maybe in an ophthalmology office or practice, then by all means also see the Optician Works website where there is quite a bit more on low vision. Now, why am I not going to cover all that here? Well, back in 2008, when I first started Optician Works, low vision was actually the second largest course in the entire program. We had Eschenbach contributing, Mattingly low vision, Jerry Mansell was still working, an expert at low vision, gave us some really great material. There's still some over there. But that was because back in those days, well, low vision was under the optician umbrella. And you know what? It's not anymore. Times change, and I'll explain why. What umbrella is low vision under now? Well, it's under occupational therapy. Yes, you may have an optician, occupational therapist, or occupational therapist, optician, but generally it's under occupational therapy, which then again falls under the ophthalmology practices and generally within hospital health systems. And now for something completely different. Pop in here in the middle for a change. If you're watching us on Facebook, please give us a like. Or watching us on YouTube, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button down there in the corner and make sure that every lens in your optical world comes from Laramie K. So what happened? Well, in the past, technology, medical, and opti were all kind of stagnant and we just kept things the way they were. Around the late 90s, early 2000s, we had the introduction of the PC. Technology took off the internet. We had optical character recognition and books that could read to you, all that good stuff. So it lowered the need for the optical solutions. Just recently, I mean like the last couple of years, med, medicine, medical has taken a pretty big leap. They are treating macular degeneration with good results now. Med went up, tech went up, opti went down. So we just aren't taking care of things anymore because we're not needed. I do. I need you. What do you need to know as a working day-to-day -day? optician, big box store, independent OD, that sort of thing? Well, you probably want to know the definition. He's got those DMV driving things. Best corrected. Oops, I missed a, missed a D there. Let's see, best corrected. Visual acuity of worse than 2050. 2050, the Snellen chart. That's explained on the Optician Works website. What do I want you to know? I want you to have heard these terms. MD, macular degeneration. ARMD, uh, age-related macular degeneration. Same thing, there are different varieties of it. Diabetic retinopathy. Glaucoma. Retinitis, pigmentosa. Hemianopsia, and there are a few others as well. All I want you to do as a day-to-day -day working optician is of having had heard those words. You hear those words and you just say, wow, I'm sorry, but I hear so-and-so ophthalmology group health systems is really good with that. I would suggest that you head there. That's pretty much it anymore, folks, for the optician. Please leave this stuff to the specialists. I have seen this, heard it enough times. If Grammy, poor Grammy, 
is showing signs of glaucoma or retinitis pigmentosa, then take Grammy to the ophthalmology practice at the hospital system. Don't drag poor Grammy to your OD because they're so friendly and nice. They cannot treat it. They can't handle it. They're going to say, my goodness, yes, you do have glaucoma. And they're just going to refer her to a specialist. So Grammy's going to have a bill that she didn't need and a hassle of going to a doctor she didn't need to see. So be nice to Grammy and Grampy too. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you again next week.